Hello friends, this is Smart Excel here. Thanks for watching my videos. Uh, this video is a continuation to my previous video for measuring DAX and measuring the measures. So, why do we get errors in measures and how to rectify the errors is this is what I'm going to show you in this video. So, if you want to Please refer to my previous video and uh, please refer to my set of data which I have collected. This is this is a simple this is a simple Excel database where I have added fields and you can see calculated fields. So when this data is not in the data model, you get this set of uh, fields highlighted. But once you have added to data model this will be de-highlighted and this will be these are the highlighted ones so without wasting time let's go and i, I would like to recommend you to just watch my previous video also so once i do insert and when if i if i add this data model this is the way i'll be adding it to data model so that i can add measures so if i now if i want to add any measures if you want to see you can see that if you want to create a new measure it is showing that i don't have anything in the data model so i'll be adding the data model by clicking here and uh, adding this to data model okay now you can see i can add measures from here or i can go to measures and new measures from here so it's one and the same so as I told you, I want to see that budgeted amount minus actual amount. So if I go here, new measure, and I will say yes, main budgeted amount minus minus main data actual amount. So when I check the formula, it is giving an error. Even if you do from this here also, mean is actual amount. It's giving an error. So whatever you do, wherever you do, you will get an error. So how to get the answers proper is we should have a sum for this. So this is a measure. So we need a sum to get this. So before that, I'll be showing you whenever we add a measure, it will be shown in here. It will be shown here and from there also we can create a KPI. Now you can see the KPI is deselected. You cannot select this. It's graded. Or um, so let's add a measure. Now I'm adding a if I manage measure, I don't have any measures over here. So once I have measures, I can edit and delete it. Or I can have a new measure from here also. So if I say difference, as I showed you, why we are not getting the answer because difference. now if I want to see, make a sum. So you can see the original sum for the budget amount and is not showing here. If I see budgeted amount, I can just see this budget amount. So just keep in mind this thing. Let me cancel this and let's close this now what i'll be doing is i will be first let me main category budgeted amount so automatically it will be here and actual amount so once i have done this now let's see now let's go to measures new measures and i'll be sticking here i will writing here a difference So the DEX formula, the formula is empty. Now let's see. Now I say main. Now you can see a sigma mark over here. So now you can see sum of actual and sum of budget is there because once the method, is, the simple method is you should pull data in this field. Then only you can see some data over here. So now let me show you.
um, budgeted amount minus an amount. Now the sum is over here. So this is going to be the same one. If I do the same, I'm going to get an error. I'm getting the same error. So when I do M and I type M and when I do budgeted amount, sum of budget amount, sorry, sum of budget amount minus sum of actual amount. You can see the sigma over here. And now if I want to check the formula, you can see no errors in the formula. Simple logic is you should add the things in the values. So when you see, you can see, you can see sigma over here. You can you have to add these things in the values. Then one, then you can see the sum of budget amount. If you don't add this thing, it won't be allowed. It will not be coming. But now once you are done, once you are done adding and removing also, it will be there because it's already been once the system has already been taken into consideration. Now even if I do this as a difference, and if I remove this also. The difference uh, the system has already been taken so it doesn't really matter now you can see that you can see it's already there so the main and the best way is if you want to get the right answers first try to categorize the data categorize put it in pool uh, pull it here in the actual and budget in the uh, in this fields then you can get the measures right so this is one of the way so I'll be showing another way on this. So already this has been done here. So if I even if I delete this measure or if it from here or if I delete measures from here also. Now that has been done once. So oh, if you go to manage data model, you can see I have removed this, but it will be shown over here. So if I add a measure, now I want to see, see already some of actual amount is there. So when if you remove it or add it, once you add it, that's finished. It's going to be fully finalized. Already. So I'll be removing this again. I'll be deleting this. I'll go to data model. And this is gone from here also. So there's no things here. Again, if I want to show you. I want to add this in the data model, to the data model I'll be inserting and I'll be adding here from here or I can directly add from here also please refer to my previous videos I can add this from here also so same way again I'm going to show you the, the things again new measure now if you want to see, you can see there is no sum. You can see there is no sum. If I do the same thing again, I'm going to get an error. I'm going to get error because there is no sum. The best way is just pull the data here and there from here, both the items, then automatically you'll get a sum. So the other way around is if you don't want to do this, there is another way. Budget diamond go here and make a sum. So actually I'm gonna go to this field, make this as a sum. So we don't need to save this because automatically it will be saved. So you can see sum is already here. Now if you want to add a measure. You can see sum of actual amounts already there minus sum of budgeted amount. So you can give currency or you can give a number, right? Decimal numbers. So I can check the formula. Let me check the formula. So once I pull that, you can see the measure has been added over here. Different. Now this is what I have created. Difference. 
So check formula. You can see no error in the formula. So here this is the sum total sum of this. But if you don't need a sum also, you can have a budgeted amount, an actual amount. So in the same way, and now you can see the differences. So whenever you create a measure, you can see F and X. So this is showing negating that you have created a measure. But unlike here, you can see when you create from a non-dax formula table, when you select from here, field and all, you, it, it will be not showing you. It's showing, it's showing as a normal one. But if you're using a DAX function system, you will be it will be showing you in this way. So this is the two ways I showed you how to create measures and get the right answer. One is by adding a sum or some just by pulling down the things over here. Or other way is making a sum just by clicking sum over here and sum over here. Then you can see that. The measure is created here for this now you can create a kpi so how to create different sort of kpis and get the answer so you can see some you can if you want you can delete from here if i delete from here automatically it will be deleted from here also so you can see some of actual and some of budget if you if i if you want to delete from there if i delete this You can see it has gone. So if I deleted this also, it will be gone from there also. If I remove this also, it will be removed from here also. So this will, be, this will also be gone. So in the next video, I'll be showing you how to create KPIs. When you select, you can see, you can see KPIs over here and uh, KPIs over here. So I don't have any KPIs right now. If you want to create a new KPI. So this is a KPI, the same like uh, conditional formatting. So we can set uh, color codes and uh, once you add KPIs and all those things, automatically there will be three substances over that and that will be like, it will be showing like a traffic signal over here. So the, what is going to be, what are KPIs and all, how to add KPIs and remove KPIs is going to be next video. So this video was how to add measures correct way and uh, I showed you two ways. One is directly from directly over here, just by pulling down the data. Another is by managing and adding it. So the same way, just we have to click and select and this do this. So it was showing an error. Now it has been rectified because I deleted this. And if you can see, it was also showing an error, but now it has been rectified. So I hope you find this video useful and uh, this is a very important video. This many, many people get uh, panic because the measures do not work. So measures works in a certain form, certain formulations, certain set of set of uh, formulas and uh, DAX formulas works in certain other ways. So please don't mix it. So there are totally three different ways. One is by fields for non data models. One is for data models, adding measures and other is direct DAX formulas in we can manage. So my next forthcoming videos will be on these things and um, DAX models and relationships and KPIs. So I hope you find this video useful. Please like this uh, video if you like it. Please like and share this video and please subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.